Most people in America are looking for how to make a life worth living in retirement having. When I look at the bottom of my shoes the other morning, I found that someone had cut and gouged a hole right through the center of the shoe. It's not in a natural place that would be worn by me, and as you can see, there's some wearing going on in my shoes, but that was also being done to me over the course of time, and I believe a person just said, eh, what the heck, let's just cut another hole in the shoe. My shoes have been something that some monster has been playing with for a long time. When I had a pair of boots, they cut a hole in that boot. When I had a different pair of boots that I had purchased from Walmart for under $20, they basically took out the insoles, and it took me a few days to realize why my feet were hurting so bad. They were missing. The liars of America like to do this. You take your shoes off sometimes when you sleep because you need to more com be comfortable and don't want your blanket seat all filthy. But that means the monsters play in and do things that are immoral and illegal. It's illegal to vandalize people's property. I'm not sure why our children today, of every color, of every race, of every tribe, do not understand this today in any way. In America, we have rights, and we have the rights to our property. Property rights are violated when people vandalize someone's personal possessions. Property includes our personal possessions, the things that we purchase, the things that are gifted to us, the things that are become our presents from other people from all over the world. Yet there's always some monster who thinks they want to have them, steal them, and is jealous of them, or lie about having them and keeping them. The monsters of the force like to take trophies, and a trophy-oriented force is a very disgusting thing in front of the Lord because every piece of possession that a human being has, according to the priest, according to the Bible, according to the Quran, comes from God. So if you're stealing from me as a homeless person, what do you think Lord Jesus thinks of you today? If you're pilfering from me in the middle of the night, what do you think the law enforcement officers who actually follow the law will think of you in some way? You violated federal law. You literally took a hold of someone else's possessions and you ruined them. You absolutely abuse your rights in every way.